this right here was one of our trees. Cracked off, fell down in the creek. So this is one I'm probably gonna have to chop up with the axe or a chainsaw. It fell down in the creek last night and then all this was just run off. Here's the deal. We had a bad storm last night. It didn't last for that long. It was only a few hours, but it was just torrential. These rain buckets over here, they filled up in like five minutes. There is just debris everywhere. I've already been up all morning cleaning up all around. This is basically everywhere. This is like all over the yard. Big problem with this house that I've figured out is the runoff situation. We have like little river streams that are happening. After having all this big rain, I got visions, honey. You got visions? I got visions of what we need to do. It's almost like homesteading. Like there's consequences when there's storms. There's trees down. I mean, we need to make a burn pile. So there's a lot of stick cleanup taking place today. But what this has allowed is us to really see how this place is figured out uh, geologically. This house had a major foundational issue back in the day, had to be fixed. We want to prevent all erosion from happening. We need to amplify what's going on here. That's the other thing I got to do is get all the creatures, get all the nasty stuff out. So uh, when Emmy's born, she's grown up, she can just run around and be safe. And it's not going to be completely safe from everything because, you know, we live out here in the woods, but just make it as nice as possible. I think OSG's out here doing work. I think I saw her out here doing work. She's been spotted. There she is. <laughs> picking up things. She's literally just picking them up, putting them in a pile. She's got a nice pile going. Look at this nice big pile. Look at you out here just homesteading. Guess what was on the trail cam? Hmm. Me, picking up sticks. <laughs> surprise, oh. surprise. Quite a collection of debris. I'm making you little piles because I can't bend over. My back is already starting to hurt. See, that's the perfect tool. We're on our way to get some, look at some stone. We're browsing stone right now. One thing leads to another. We started out with storms. It's led to visions, which led into fire pits, which led into stone and barriers and all sorts of stuff. Let us know in the comments if any of you out there are landscapers or no landscapers. We've got some questions. Probably need to level some stuff out, tamp some stuff out, and uh, do a fire pit, rocks, everything, all in one. Lots of rock. Lots of pea gravel. And then we've got our cobblestones. Ooh, I like those. Oh boy. Well, we got some good shopping selections here. Just what I love to do is shopping for rocks. Oh man. This is like Fred Flintstone's <laughs> ball. You dab a dab a do or something? Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba. <laughs> Yabba dabba freaking do. They're thinking we're having an argument because I'm sitting here yelling, Yabba dabba do. What was that? <laughs> we're arguing over rocks. I bet people do argue over rocks. Oh, I'm sure they Especially do. Especially when they, they get the price tag. Mm -hmm. Are you sure your truck can handle this? Um, no, because I've never done this to this truck. First load, y'all. Seriously, <laughs> y'all didn't see it, but my tire. <laughs> look down here. My tire was like about to touch my my wells. Yeah, it didn't That's look good. I, well, let me tell y'all how much a rock cost. Um, we're trying to keep the naturalness of the lake, and everybody in the neighborhood has that red stone. It's called moss stone. What did they say? They said a ton was 160. I thought. Yeah. Okay, that would be right then. So it came out to 92 dollars. Mm. 92 damage. for I don't know that's probably like 30 rocks in there that's that, enough for a flower bed that could have gotten me half a dresser that could have gotten me <laughs> a lot of tackle or a lot of groceries instead we're buying rocks even though we're surrounded by daggone rocks it's just 
do you want to dig them out of the ground and repurpose them? Buying rocks. <laughs> this all started with a heavy storm last night. <laughs> this guy, I tell you, he's the one honking at us. He got one rock. He came into this rock quarry and bought one rock. I mean, what a man knows what he wants. He over prepares. <laughs> <laughs> and that man over prepared. He over prepared a lot. All right, start moving those rocks. This is this is the lowest my truck's ever been. I mean, look at this. Normally I'm hanging my legs off, and now I'm just, just right here, just like Fred Flintstone out here. <laughs> One man show. One man show. Probably gonna have to. I mean, you're probably getting overheated just standing out here filming me. Yeah, I'm a little hot. I think it's lovely. It's coming along great. Come let's let's check this out right now. Oh yeah, getting some close up of these rocks. Look how well you're doing. I feel like I'm doing something productive with my life here. Here's the deal. You know, the erosion issue, you can see here, it's pretty bad. Comes down this hill, so we're going to have like a cascade of big rocks that's going to disperse the water flow. And then we're going to have little succulents in here. All this is going to be filled in with small rocks amongst the big boulder rocks so it's diverting 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 <laughs> diverting the water that is key oh, great babe thank you and I'm gonna grill some steaks for you tonight I know you're just gosh so attractive today sorry about it <laughs> so while Justin is laying rocks right now outside just living the dream honey <laughs> just living the dream. Just living the dream I'm going through old boxes and look what I found Okay, so this was like an old scrapbook that I had when I was little, I guess. And I just happened to open it and turn to the first page. This is me when I was little. Um, I had a little bowl cut. It's my brother and my sister. But I have not even gone farther than the first page because I started laughing so hard. Woo! I mean, just check that out. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that even ugly children can make it in the world. <laughs> can I see it? I, I gotta see well, this. You're gonna have to come over here. This worthy photo. I leave my rock station. Right there. I mean, you look like a little boy. I do. You look like I did when I was a kid. Wait, this is, this is when you know that you grew up in Texas because you have a whole day devoted to Texas Day. Except I'm this little one right there. Oh Footage. my goodness. There, there we go. That was me in kindergarten. Oh my goodness. She was in my wedding, so that's me. She was one of my bridesmaids. I just can't believe the transformation. <laughs> we can go and look at... <laughs> what Aww. in the world? Why did your parents do that to you? Why didn't you have long hair like a normal girl? Apparently it was like the cool thing to do for... It was a Dorothy Hamill haircut. It's what my parents claim it to be. Nothing but cool. it was a chili bowl, for sure. It's something bad. <laughs> Needless to say, little Emmy will not be having a chili bowl. No. Little Emmy, we're growing your hair out. Wow. Like, look at that family photo right there. Look at that. That is one of those Olin Mill family photos. <sighs> I come from a family of great genetics. <laughs> okay, I've pretty much hit a wall here. This little project for the day, honey. I'm starting to get a little hangry. Starting to get a little hangry. Yes, I am. I need food. I need protein to move these rocks. You still got so much more to do, though. I've been working all day. <sighs> I got up early. I was working out in the yard, picking up sticks. I've just been moving land matter all day. <laughs> so I'm hungry. Okay, after sticks, can you finish? Probably not. We'll get you some dinner, and then you're gonna finish this. Okay, fine. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's time to start the grill. All our charcoal soaked. Interesting thing about today. We started the day with sticks. We're gonna end the day with sticks. This is leftover coals that have that have been in here, so they're dry. And I've actually used some of the sticks that have been out in the heat all day that were in the wheelbarrow, and I've feathered them. I'm not sure if any of y'all have ever seen that. 
I got this book. It's about bushcrafting, which I find incredibly interesting. Bushcrafting is basic woodsman skills, you know, just to do basic functions out in the woods. And it's all about woodworking and, and uh, axemanship, knifesmanship, and all these all this cool stuff that uh, kind of ties into fishing and hunting. So if you've ever tried to start a fire on your own out in the woods with some sticks, rubbing them together really hard, right? So the technique that you can use is you just take uh, a knife, you know, an outdoorsman knife or bushcraft knife, you want to, whatever you want to call it. And this isn't, this isn't the exact proper technique right here, but you just want to kind of make some ribbon, do a bunch of those curls. Once you get that going, that it airs out the wood and gets those really thin pieces. You can take a thick piece of wood and make it thin like that. So since we don't have much dry charcoal to get this thing popping, this is cheating, but this is the ultimate tinder right here. Some people soak these in different substances when they're when they're out in the woods. There it goes. There it goes. Now it's on the feather sticks. And it's going. So I cheated a little bit, but we got a fire going now because we got to have steaks. So it didn't really work quite as good as I wanted to do. You know, kind of burn out. Those little feathers go up quick. So if you don't have a nice little tender bundle, big thing ready to go, it's pretty much just going to burn out. You know? But hey, I'm learning. I'm learning some crafts. I think we did all right. We started with sticks. We end with sticks. We really end with steaks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alrighty y'all, we're gonna throw some taters on with that and we're gonna finish this video out. It's just been an earthy type of day. You know, I kinda dig going on these adventures, coming back, and then I get to spend time with you. This is the most time I've spent with you. In a long time. In a while. <laughs> I love it. I do too. I love just being in the treehouse with you, babe. Aww. Alrighty y'all, you know what to do. If you wanna subscribe here for more action, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. That's really how you get to the videos. But a lot of y'all have come over and been watching for my channel, so thank you very much all the fishing freaks and all the new subscribers that we have going on. It's time to put some food in our face and we will see you next time here, here at the, the Treehouse. Tree